Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It is a Friday. It's the 26th day of January, International Customs Day, Lotus 123 Day, National Green Juice Day, National Peanut Brittle Day. Are you a peanut brittle person? Uh, in very limited quantities. I don't dislike it, but I don't think I've ever craved it. Like, no. man, I'm got a hankering for some peanut butter. <laughs> right. Um, it is Toad Hollow Day of Encouragement and National Spouses Day. Aww. Aww. Happy Heidi, Spouses Day. Happy Spouses Day back at you. For those of you who don't know, she's my spouse. <laughs> I'm her spouse. I think everybody Today knows. is already... Well, you never know. There could be somebody new tuning in. Um, and I got a guest joining me. I'm actually excited to visit. Uh, this young lady was on Saturday Night Live for about four years, five years, Nassim Pedrad. And she's got her own show that she created. It's called Chad, where this 40-something female is playing a teenage boy. And some of the videos that I've seen from this are very, very funny. I'm going to chat with her all about it coming up. Give yourself a little credit. I've been telling you about BetterCreditCards.com for a few years now. I'd love for you to take a few minutes today to check out the website. Who knows? You might find a better credit card, one that offers a better rate, or a credit card that offers cash back, airline miles, or other points and perks that can help you. Check it out now. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Researchers from the University of Basel and the Technical University of Munich are challenging previous assumptions about the impact of sleep, of blue light emanating from our devices. So we've been told for a long time that that blue light from the devices, bad. Avoid it, yeah. Well, their findings are that the color of light might not significantly affect the human internal clock and the sleep quality, contradicting prior research. The study results, which I don't see who's paying for them, but I'm guessing somebody who sells phones, (laughs) also cast doubt upon the common practice of using night mode on smartphones and tablets. Night mode often involves a yellowish color adjustment, which according to the study results would actually be completely irrelevant. So again, I would love to know who paid for this study before I put a whole lot of stock in what they're saying. I don't think it's necessarily the color of the light. Probably it's just your mind being engaged yeah. with yeah, probably. the activity on the phone. There so. you go. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Insurance. It's important to have insurance, but it's more important to have the right insurance. After all, if you're not covered, it's like not even having insurance. Make sure you're covered for whatever claim might come your way with InsuranceChicken.com. Helping you peck out great insurance deals in your area. You need insurance on your car anyway. Why not get great rates for great insurance from insurance? chicken.com that's insurancechicken.com did you know brought to you by genesis gold ira.com heidi did you know that a contractor working on a remodeling job in seattle made a surprising shocking discovery inside of a wall a hand grenade Ooh. yeah vadim karkavi owner of polar bear construction said he tore out a tub on a third floor bathroom revealing a hidden compartment in the wall and what happened to be well appeared to be a grenade Although his first thought was to get out of here, he soon returned and captured video. He posted that to the company's TikTok account. The Seattle Police Department's bomb squad confirmed the object was a grenade, but it was inert, which means it wasn't going to blow up. They told him that sometimes uh, World War II veterans came home with souvenirs, which they tended to store away and then forget about. So they're thinking that's probably what happened. Hmm. So um, I remember when I was a kid. That would get your pulse racing, yeah. wouldn't it? When I was a kid, we had a grenade in our garage, and it was also inert. But it looked like... As far like, as you know? <laughs> no, it really was. It was, it, you could, it was hollow. The whole thing was oh. empty. But when you looked at it, it looked like a grenade. Right. And I saw somebody had one of those, and it said, complaint department, uh, to yeah. complain, pull a number. I've and it was those. on the, the thing. I was like, oh, that's clever. All right. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. The box office has officially entered the January doldrums. As we get towards the the second half of January, everything kind of just simmers down a little bit at the box office. So uh, a lot of the numbers are down, but they were kind of expecting them to be down. Uh, Sophia Verga, am I saying that right? I think I I said it right. Uh, She and Netflix have been hit by a lawsuit by um, the estate of Griselle Blanco. 
Yikes. The, su- the suit seeks a court injunction to block the release of the miniseries that they were putting out. So I don't know why, but apparently it's uh, the, the she was the godmother. And okay. that's what this thing is about. And it's time for the annual Golden Raspberry Awards. The Razzies aim to dishonor the worst films over the past year. 44th edition of the Raspberries. And the most nominated film is Expendables 4. The fourth entry in the action-packed but critically underwhelming Expendables franchise. Underwhelming, according to them. I know several people who love them. Winners, if that's what you call them, will be announced on March the 9th. All right, big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. What could you do with an extra $129 a month? In this economy, every penny counts. So an extra $129 each month would absolutely help. Well, 97% of us have a cell phone, and the average person pays $144 a month. Mint Mobile can help you save a mint. At just $15 a month, that's an average savings of $129 each month. It's time for a mint intervention. Switch and save today. Get this special Offer at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. I think this is a really cool story. Um, Supporters of a hockey team in Hershey, Pennsylvania, came out in full force to break a world record. Every year, fans gather for what they call the Hershey Bears Teddy Bear Toss, where people throw a stuffed animal onto the ice. These plush toys are then donated to local charities. Oh, that's cute. Well, earlier this month, the toss took place during the Bears match against Lee Valley Phantoms. And after a Bears player scored in the second period, stuffed animals began to rain down. Bears captain Dylan McRath, I don't know how to say his name. I apologize. Uh, He said it was incredible to see. The Bears announced that for 2024, a world record of 700, I'm sorry, take that back, 75,599 animals were tossed. That is crazy. Yeah. Since the first event in 2001, nearly 400,000 have been collected, 390,000 stuffed animals since 2001. But this year alone, almost 75,000. Wow. So for anybody that's going, oh, hey, we could beat that at our thing that we do, um, that's a lot. That's pretty crazy. So I don't know. If they even need 75,000 stuffed animals in Hershey, Pennsylvania. So hopefully they go to the area as well. Wow. Goes to local charities, it says. So that that's a lot of stuffed animals. That really is. It's and crazy. I don't know how big these are, but imagine how many, because how many people could possibly fit into this arena to watch the game? How many stuffed animals were each of the people carrying? I mean, right. that had to be quite the thing. All right. Your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Thank you for listening to The John and Heidi Show on a Friday. Do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Are you being audited or investigated? Has the IRS sent you a letter demanding payment? You may not owe what they claim. Make this free call to the tax doctor now. Let them negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. 800-310-5831. 800-310-5831. That's 800-310-5831. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Excited to visit with Nassim Padrad. You might know her from Saturday Night Live or from several other very fun projects. And she's got one called Chad that started on TBS. And now she's got like a whole new season and the whole first season available on a Roku channel. And we've got Nassim on the line now. How bizarre is it for a 40-year-old female to play a teenage Iranian boy? That's kind of bizarre, isn't it? (laughs) I don't know why my truest essence as a human is that of a 14-year-old boy, but I can I can assure you it was a lot of fun. When I was developing the show and writing it, I really just felt like I could disappear into looking like a 14-year-old boy even more so than a girl because of Chad's posture and the eyebrows and the hair. I, I felt like, oh, I could really like slip into this character and then really just make a funny, like a hard comedy half-hour uh sitcom that you know ended up going great season one we we were uh lucky enough to get a second season that people can now catch on the roku and the thing that's cool that is available all over the place for free and a lot of people don't even necessarily know about it well that's the thing there's so many shows nowadays but there are also so many streamers you have to pay for and roku is totally free it's in most households already because it comes with most smart tvs so if you have a smart tv you probably have roku 
already. You don't need a subscription. You don't need to pay for it. Season one of Chad is available now on Roku, and season two comes out tomorrow, or technically midnight tonight. Um, and even if you don't have a smart TV, you could just go to the Roku channel.com and watch it for free there. Very cool. Now, how long did it take from the concept? I've got this idea until you had a TV show that somebody said, we're going to do it. Here's a green light. I was at SNL for a few years, and I knew that when I left SNL, I really want to create my own show. And um, I started thinking about, well, what do I want to write? And when I, when I sort of cracked this character, honestly, more than anything, it was really making me laugh. And so I had, you know, a development deal where the network said, Hey, we'll, we'll, we'll make your, your next show. And I was like, I have a weird one for you. <laughs> and they <laughs> let me make it. And, uh, we got, you know, a lot of critical love and, um, it was, you know, rated number one cable comedy series. And so I was able to make a second season. And, and yeah, at the end of the day, it's like a show you could watch with your kids. It's a show that everyone can relate to because it's at the end of the day, just about a kid trying to fit in in high school. And he just ends up getting in his own way. And, oh, yeah. um, yeah. <laughs> I, I can relate so much to so many of the situations Chad puts himself in. And there's one that I thought was really funny. And I got to ask you who did this, because I'm assuming it maybe maybe it was you, but the, at the skate park. And, you know, the, the, the vision of all the amazing skating Chad's doing. Who did the skating? Was that you? We had an incredible stunt double that was a professional skater who did obviously the physical stuff. I'm, I'm not at that level when it comes to my skating <laughs> skills, even though I did grow up in Southern California and I did skate. I can, I kind of, I peaked at landing in Ollie and <laughs> yeah, the actual skater that, that did the skate park stuff was a, a total pro. Well, um, I was watching that and I was like, I can't tell if that, is that her? Is that somebody else? So you guys did a really good job of making everybody in their mind believe that was Chad as well. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that, that I credit the director with that. I, they did really make it look like that was me, but, but yeah. I mean, if you like comedy, if you if you like to laugh, this is a show that um, will definitely, you know, be fun to watch. And hopefully you just kind of forget that an adult woman is playing the character <laughs> and you just sort of buy that this awkward boy is flailing. <laughs> I think that actually makes it even better, honestly. If it was just, you know, they cast a 14-year-old boy to play the 14-year-old boy, I don't think it would have been as much fun as a 40-year-old woman yeah. playing the 14-year-old boy. That is just amazing to me. Teenagers don't know what's so funny about being a teenager. So when an adult is playing the teenager, if you can pull it off and if people are willing to suspend their disbelief, you could just push the comedy so much further because yeah. um, you're not watching like an actual immigrant child actor suffer through some of what that <laughs> has to deal with. You know that you're watching an adult who could bring that nuance and perspective to the performance. Very nice. Thank you again for taking the time to chat with us about it today. Absolutely. Thank you. Again, the show is called Chad. It's on the Roku channel. I've got a link to all of the information in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Give yourself a little credit. I've been telling you about bettercreditcards.com for a few years now. I'd love for you to take a few minutes today to check out the website. Who knows? You might find a better credit card, one that offers a better rate, or a credit card that offers cash back, airline miles, or other points and perks that can help you. Check it out now. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to bettercreditcards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Your brain uses about 20% of the oxygen and caloric intake that you have. 20% all goes just to your brain. Hmm. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The muscles that control your eyes contract about 100,000 times a day. Hmm. So that's a lot. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? There are more than 200 language languages that were invented just for television or movies. So oh. a movie that has like a fake like language. Klingon yeah, yeah, those kind yeah, of things. Okay. Over 200 of those. Interesting. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The founder of Match.com lost his girlfriend to a man that she met We've on the said internet. That, that is hilarious. Uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Not only is a dog's sense of smell 40 times more powerful than a human's, they also are able to breathe and smell simultaneously, unlike humans. So we have to either breathe or smell, but they can I've do both. I've never thought about that, but I yeah. suppose. And let's do one more fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Every odd number contains the letter E. Every oh. single odd number. 
Interesting. So, very interesting. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Insurance. It's important to have insurance, but it's more important to have the right insurance. After all, if you're not covered, it's like not even having insurance. Make sure you're covered for whatever claim might come your way with insurancechicken.com. Helping you peck out great insurance deals in your area. You need insurance on your car anyway. Why not get great rates for great insurance from insurancechicken.com? That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Question for you, Heidi. A survey found that women have nine of these. What are they? Most women have nine of these. Gosh. Uh, Bottles of? Perfume? Yes, bottles of perfume. I thought for sure you were going to say wine. (laughs) I've got way more than that. (laughs) Yeah, the average woman has nine bottles of perfume. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. What could you do with an extra $129 a month? In this economy, every penny counts. So an extra $129 each month would absolutely help. Well, 97% of us have a cell phone, and the average person pays $144 a month. Mint Mobile can help you save a mint. At just $15 a month, that's an average savings of $129 each month. It's time for a Mintervention. Switch and save today. Get this special offer at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now, some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. An advertising agency is being accused by former employees of moving their office to a remote mountain area to force them to quit so they don't have to pay them compensation. In what's being called one of the most extreme tactics to convince employees to resign, the business, based in downtown Zion City, China, allegedly moved its offices to a rural mountain area with limited (laughs) transportation options. A staff member who says (laughs) he is one of the many who was forced to quit due to the new location said the company notified them that they would have to travel to this new location in the mountains, which requires a two-hour one-way commute for those with a car and travel via bus would take, uh, they would, once they get to the car to a certain place, then they have to get on a bus and then a three-kilometer walk through a mountainous pathway. Wow. That's... The nearest toilet is in a neighboring village. Oh, so, my gosh. What a weird way <laughs> to just tell people, okay, you're all done. This is how this is going to work. It's probably giving some people some ideas. That are like, oh, hey, this is an idea. Weird News brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Male actors who've played the exact same character in almost every movie they've ever been in. I don't know if I agree with some of these, by the way. So yeah, here, here's I can think of a few. Though. Al Pacino, they say he's the same in all. He's, Jackie Chan, yeah. they say he's the same in yeah. all. Mark Wahlberg, I've seen him play different characters. He's Father Stu, kind of that was a great boy. movie. No, I don't yeah, know. That- Jeff Goldblum, okay, that, that one's probably yeah. true. Will Ferrell, yeah, maybe. Michael Sarah. Uh, Hugh Grant, Will Smith, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and the number one person on the list who, according to this, plays the same character in every movie. I disagree with it, by the way. Adam Sandler. He plays the same character in a lot of movies. Mm -hmm. But when he does a serious role, it is a completely different character. Yeah, agreed. And he is an amazing, serious actor. That Uncut Gems film was brilliant. And I just watched one not too long ago where he was a stand-up comic and uh, he was, you know, uh, helping another comedian. It was him and Seth Rogen. I don't remember the name of the movie, but it was a really good film that I had never seen. Right. And I'm like, how have I not seen this? But they're right. The majority of his films, he's the same type of character. A whoopity doo. <laughs> the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Are you being audited or investigated? Has the IRS sent you a letter demanding payment? You may not owe what they claim. Make this free call to the tax doctor now. Let them negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. 800-310-5831. 800-310-5831. That's 800-310-5831. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Quote today is from Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon says, if you're not yelling at your kids, you're not spending enough time with them. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I remember when I was a kid, I was thinking, I'm never going to do this when I'm someday, someday when I have my own kids. Yeah, we should ask our kids if if they they feel you didn't follow through. No, I'm I'm positive. I was horrible at that. Because... 
I agree with Reese, with Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> we spend time with him at some point. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, Send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with some good news, and I think this is good news. It's actually kind of a fun story. It comes your way courtesy of genesisgoldira.com, all the way from Chicago, the Windy City. The Chicago rat hole. Have you seen this online? I have not. There's a rat-shaped hole that's become Chicago's hottest tourist attraction. It's a hole in the pavement. It's shaped just like a rat. A peculiar landmark, fondly dubbed the Chicago rat hole, has captured the fascination of locals and visitors alike, sparking a trend of people making a pilgrimage to witness its unique charm in person. So it's located in the Roscoe Village area of Chicago. The Chicago Rat Hole is a distinct sidewalk hole shaped like a rat or maybe a squirrel. Despite existing for decades, it gained sudden fame and a viral sensation on social media, particularly Twitter, in January of this year. Its newfound attention has turned the site to a tourist attraction, drawing visitors to witness this quirky charm. Why would <laughs> So the hole gained worldwide attention uh. January 6th when it was tweeted by a Chicago-based comedian and a writer, Winslow Dumain. Uh, the post quickly became viral. Many Chicago residents visited the hole in what has been described a pilgrimage to make offerings to this rat oh, hole. Oh my gosh. Coins and other candles and things. And it, it's got its own, like little, almost like a shrine. Here's my question. I'm trying to see if it says in here. The hole was filled with plaster or cement by an unknown party January 19th. Residents attempted to excavate the hole using their hands and implements like uh, scrapers and whatnot. Anyway, some think that there was an actual rat that was in the concrete, and that's why this hole. Because it's the right shape, and it looks like maybe that's what it was. Okay. Like somebody was just doing their concrete well, why would work. people be making trips to go visit this thing? That it's kind of weird up. looking, though. So, but there are people that are going, okay, I think that when they were doing the concrete, like a rat died in there and that okay. concrete guy was like, not my job to remove the rats. <laughs> so who knows why it's there, but it is there if you want to see it. It's in the show notes for today at John and Heidi Show.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show.